sort, May, about that woman anymore, are you, Margie? No, Biff. I was just jealous for a little while. I know there couldn't have been anything between you. Gee, I'm sure glad you believe me. But the police won't. Sound in motion pictures has made better entertainment for millions of people. Not so long ago, we had this. It took 100 years and thousands of dreams to bring present-day sound to the screen. Thomas A. Edison's first reproduction of a voice revolutionized the theory of sound. From its crude beginning, the story of sound in motion pictures is one of continual research and improvement. The recording of sound in motion pictures requires many technicians, especially trained in the science of acoustics and sound. Spain. He figures that you were trying to establish an alibi for last night by saying you killed that woman. But I did kill her. In my sleep, I did it. If you couldn't have, you couldn't hurt anyone. While they're making this scene, let's see what happens to the actors' voices from the time they speak their dialogue on the set until you hear them in the theater. Sound waves are picked up by the microphone and converted into electrical impulses and sent through these cables to a mixing console where the recording engineer controls the volume output in much the same manner as you control the volume on your radio. This sound man's job is to judge the quality of sound coming from the various microphones and to maintain the proper level between sound and picture at all times. From here, the voices travel through relays in every manner of amplifying equipment to the recording room, where they are photographed on a separate piece of film. The sound film negative is developed in the film laboratory in exactly the same manner in which the picture negative is developed and becomes a separate sound track. Practically everyone knows how a voice sounds. But do you know how a voice looks? Projected on a screen, a voice looks and sounds like this. Why? But I must have. The house was locked. Nobody else could get in. Eventually, the picture is synchronized with the soundtrack, and both are printed photographically on one piece of positive film. I don't know who took her away. I don't know where she's gone. There's no trace. Uh, what? Her nightgown. The one I had on. Simple, isn't it? Well, I guess anything is simple once you take a lifetime to learn it. The first full-length all-talking motion picture, imperfect by present standards, created an unparalleled sensation at the time. But it presented almost insurmountable obstacles to the actors who had to play to a fixed microphone possibly located in this telephone. I planted the stuff in Eddie's shop. Yeah? And the dicks will be there at 10 o'clock. Uh-huh. But they must not find Eddie. Take him for a ride. Oh. The sound men had to develop their medium to meet all conditions, both indoors and outdoors. The first full-length talking picture to be photographed out of doors was titled In Old Arizona. But again, hidden microphones had to be placed in fixed positions to record the sound. Hey, yo coyote yo. Tell him you make me cheat go kid. Today, with improved portable equipment allowing greater freedom of action, we can do things like this. In our film libraries, there are thousands of sounds. Little sounds and big sounds. Raucous sounds and pleasant sounds. Here they are, all filed, cross-filed, and begging to be heard. Oh, but wait a moment, wait a moment. These sounds need to be synchronized with pictures and artistically blended by the sound men before they have much meaning. Here's how it's done. We'll take the various bits and pieces of a racetrack scene from the picture Return of October as our example. In this film can are the sounds of crowd cheers. This one contains the sounds of horses running on a racetrack. And here we have a racetrack narrator. There they go. 
It's yeah. Sunset getting away in front. Bandstand is running second. Nevada. All these sounds are synchronized with the picture by the sound effects cutter. After cutting, the individual soundtracks must be blended into one track in the re-recording room. Here, this crew of highly trained sound specialists actually blend the different sounds into the completed product you will hear in your theater. These dials control the volume of each individual soundtrack, like this. This man controls the horse's hoofs and crowd cheers. This one handles the narration and the dialogue. Bandstand is second by a length, and here comes Charmboy on the rail. Charmboy is making his move on the inside. Come on, Charmboy. Relax, Tommy. He hasn't got a prayer. And this man continually modifies the quality of all the sounds to ensure uniform blending. The individual soundtracks are ready to be blended into a single soundtrack. The film is flashed on the screen. Now watch closely, and you will see an example of the artistry and teamwork that are part of all good motion picture making. And the second by a head, the batter's running third by three quarters of a length. Short notice fourth by a neck, Lady Tony. Relax, Tony hasn't got a prayer. In your theater, the scene will look and sound like this. Bandstand is second by a length, and here comes Charmboy on the rail. Charmboy is making his move on the inside. There goes Charmboy. It's sunset, still leading by three lengths, and here comes Charmboy running over horses. Charmboy is winging on the rail. What you have seen is a small part of the story of sound in motion pictures. If sound had not been developed, our schools would not have their present audio-visual aid. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. We would not be able to see and hear the great artists of the past. Do you recognize these voices? Yes, now hurry up. Make us a turkey. Go on now. You know, soap's a, a great thing, ain't it? Yeah, especially for what ails you. <laughs> oh! So what's the matter? Say, will you keep your dirty paws out of that? But... Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences has an award for the best achievement in sound recording each year. Here are a few of them. Look! Look what I'm doing! Oh. You're a beautiful skater, Julia. In fact, you're beautiful. Glory, hallelujah, just phoned a parson. Hey, Pa, get ready to call. Just like Humpty Dumpty. I'm going up all, and I'm sitting, sitting on top, top of the world. I'm rolling along, rolling along. The talking motion picture of today has brought to the screen new height of expression. And we, the sound men, will continue to perfect our medium in an effort to bring better entertainment to you.